and welcome to the second edition of the Brew Report. Wow. Um, I would like to say um, I did get a lot of views on my first episode. Um, I'd say about 45 views. So you guys out there, you rock and you help me build a second episode. Um, the producers here, we're trying to look to see how the pilot is first to see uh, how it's going to go. And boom, it blew up. Um, after I put it on social media, it blew up like a big time. And by the way, the producer is me. Everything is all me. Unless I have guests on the show. If the viewers want me to have guests, I'll have guests on the show. All right. So, um, I know we had difficult. Let me get this out of the room first here. I know I had difficulties with the spinning wheel. Um, that's because my old computer was a piece of crap, so I had to uh, rest, make it rest in peace. So now I'm doing my first video on my brand new MacBook Air. So hopefully this will work. The wheel will end up working for you guys because I know the wheel didn't work. So let's get to the wheel of decision to see what the first topic will be. Let's spin the wheel. Entertainment movies! Alright, folks. Well, our first topic of order is or are movies. Now, as some of you may know me, I'm a big movie buff. Okay? I love going to the movies when I get a chance to, and I try to see the best movies that are coming out. And, I mean, yeah, I like seeing any kind of movies there is. If there's uh, cartoons, I'll go see, uh, live action, obviously, comedies, uh, I don't know, dramas, no sad stuff, and not really much of a scary guy myself. Actually, I will forbid myself to going to, uh, scary movies, um, and I will actually forbid myself to go to a movie, scary movie, one time. Um, and this, actually, no, I say twice, because I saw Annabelle, and that was not fun. I got to meet the bartender, and that was not, not that was no, no, no go go for me. Um, and also this weekend, I'm going to see the movie Halloween. Now, I'm not really much of a scary movie fan, but I kind of made promises to my friends that I'd go to the movies with them and enjoy the show. Um, also, let me give you the uh, box office for the weekend. Now, coming in number one again is Venom. I will tell you this. Venom is a uh, pretty fantastic movie. I mean, it was a Marvel movie, but it's in the Sony universe. And wow, it is uh, fantastic. Um, that came in this week with $35 million in the box office. Um, and then coming up is A Star is Born. Um, I don't know much about this movie. All I know, it's a remake. So not many people like to see remakes. Um, but some of, I get mixed reviews saying it was good, it was sad. Um, but I'm not going to go see that movie. That movie brought in $28.4 million in the box office. And also... Um, Top number three is First Man. Now, First Man is actually looks really good to see um, if you're into all the history and all the background with all Neil Armstrong going to the going to the moon. Um, I, I obviously I heard some good reviews about this. Uh, Ryan Gosling plays a plays Neil Armstrong really good, so I do want to see this movie. It looks fantastic. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll see it when I get a chance to see it. A movie, stuff like that. Um, four? Actually, no. That's, excuse me, the first man with $16 million. Um, probably low budget, but hey, it's not bad. Um, second is Goosebumps 2. Um, I maybe want to see it, maybe not. Um, I don't know if there's trained casses in this movie, but it tanked. Um... Top four, yeah, it, it tanked big time, um, with 
$15.8 million. Um, I have it all on my phone here because, um, yeah, I have it all on my phone. Um, also, that kind of to wrap up the top five is Smallfoot. It's a little comedy uh, character or like a cartoon comedy. I don't know if I want to see it, but I mean, hey, it has some good actors in it. But I mean, that hasn't been really good either um, when it's been in the box office. I mean, it's been in the top five, I'll say that, but it's been slipping. Um, the one movie, though, that I'm kind of surprised that didn't do well is The Bad Times at the El Royale. Uh, I don't know if I said it right, but it it looked good. It looks good to go see, but it, it basically tainted the box office. Um, it's a movie that I wanted to go see, but um, we'll see who wants to go. Who and my friend wants to see that movie? Even my girlfriend. Um, I mean, I like to go see it. I want us to go see it any any of these times. I mean, I go to AMC, pay five dollars. Hey, it's a five dollar movie. I'll see it. Um, the one big, I'll say this, one big thing that is coming out this week is Halloween, like I mentioned earlier. It is, we are in the hol Halloween season, and we finally get a 40-year reunion between Michael Myers and Jamie Lee, Jamie Lee Curtis's character. Um, I know I've seen the originals back in the 80s. They just weren't scary, but um, I don't know if it's gonna, how it's going to be, how is it going to do it, but we will see. Um, I guess I'm not seeing it this Thursday, so we'll, we'll see how my reaction is to that one. Um, also, before I end the topic, um, for those moviegoers out there, um, I know I do a lot of fan, I do a lot of fantasy, do a lot of fantasy football. Um, I will just, I will, I mean, we'll, I'll just get more detail with that later. Um, but, um, there's this app on there for those who are movie buffs like myself and my friends. There's an app called Fantasy Movie League. Um, what it is, you just kind of pick uh, eight movies, and you have a budget of a thousand dollars. And each movie that are co as comes out has a different price, has a different price set to it. Um, and it's kind of fun to see like who will be the top spot in the box office and who can be, I mean, who can be actually perfect with it. You can pick up to as many times as you want for different movies. It's not just a one-on, one-off thing. You can pick as long as the movie is along with your budget. You have to make sure you have to have room for the budget. Um, and it is a it is um, uh, it is co-founded by one of the NF ESPN NFL fantasy football analysts, uh, Matthew Barry. So well, that's a good idea right there for you guys to join up because it is fun. It is great time, and it's just a weekend thing. And then starting Monday. It, you, it'll reset all over again. So, yeah, guys. Um, that's the movies for you. So, now we get on the topic number two. Let's spin the wheel. Entertainment TV. Right, welcome back. I guess you could say welcome back. Um, so, our next topic is... Um, our next topic is TV. TV shows, okay? So, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I watch a lot of TV shows. And, actually, there's tons of TV shows I want to watch, but I can't get to them. Uh, right now, I just finished season one of The Gifted. It is a Marvel X or X-Men spinoff on Fox. It's pretty good. I'll say it's a, it's, a, it's a good watch. It's a good watch. It's a good watch. Um, my parents started watching Manifest. Um, they said, actually, it's really good. Um, if no one knows what Manifest is, it's a group of people who go on a plane and then they must have gone to the Bermuda Triangle or something like that. The plane loses control and then they were gone for, I think, 10 or something years ago. I don't know how long it is. But uh, but yeah, my parents said it's good, so I've got to start watching that. Uh, I just I just need to find out time. Uh, been watching Ballers, too. Ballers is actually... If you guys have HBO and you guys are sports fans like myself, um, it is a really good it's a really good good show to watch because it kind of shows you how deals are done, how what kind of how how terms are for uh, for how agents say um, like years per money, and there's there's cameos from Terrell Suggs to uh, Dominic and Sue. Um, I mean. 
you get all these professional uh, athletes on there that will have cameos and be part of the show as well. It is a good watch, but I will say this season hasn't really been my interest. Um, Russell Brand was in this in this season, and it's just all about like California stuff, like surfing and skateboarding. Whereas the other past episodes were all about football. Um, so I don't know. It's, that show is actually not bad. I like it still. Um, and people played one of my favorites and stuff like that. Um, what other ones? Agents of Shield. That's a good one too. Um, if anyone wants to watch Agents of Shield, I know. Got to catch up now before the new season comes. The new season starts. I don't know when the new season starts, but it will start. Um, oh yeah, forgot. Game of Thrones. Who are my Game of Thrones people up in here? Woo-hoo! Yes, Game of Thrones. Sweeping the nation. Got. G-O-T. Let's go. Woo! Can't wait for April, next April. And it's April, yes. We are long ways away from the final season of Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, I love that show, actually. I mean, my sister got me into watching it last year. Binge watched it. Watched all seven, six seasons, bef- or seven seasons before the latest, the past season. Binge watched that while I was in Cal- lived in California, and then I was getting close to the end, so I binge watched the rest before the season actually started. Um, the new season started last year. Um, so that was actually for really good. Um, for those who, but the good thing is though too is um. They are coming out with a White Walker drink. Um, I think it's a whiskey gin, or I don't know what what kind it is. But uh, I can't remember the top of my head right now. But that's going to be awesome. I'd buy that in a heartbeat when it comes out. Um, But I don't know. Um, All my people that I like are alive. Um, Like Terry Lannister, Jon Snow, and... uh, um, the lady with the, 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 the uh, dragon lady, um, yeah, she's, she's, <laughs> yes, she's good looking, um, but it's a good show, good to watch for those who haven't really watched, get caught up right now, um, it's on HBO, so you have HBO, watch that, if you have HBO Go, watch H- on HBO Go, anything like that, um, all right, so, um, also, if you guys are looking for some new Netflix shows, um, so I would say Iron Fist is good. Um, I know they just canceled. They just canceled it. Um, actually, going into season three, so they canceled it. Um, what other shows? Um, Luke Cage, also a Marvel show. If you guys are into the Marvel stuff, um, um, what else? Um, Jessica Jones, Marvel. That's pretty good. Uh, Daredevil, that's pretty good. The next season's coming out here at the end of October. Uh, season three is coming. Defenders, that's gonna be good. That's also good. Um, what other Netflix shows have I watched? Um, I can't remember. I watched so many Netflix shows that I can't even remember. Um, 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 they got some good Netflix original movies. Um, I would say if you're looking for a good movie to watch too, is Bright. But um, that one's good, too. Um, but, yeah. Um, if you have any other good Netflix shows or, like, TV shows, put it in the comments below. And maybe I'll com- I'll come at- Not maybe. I'll comment you back. And I'll let you know um, if I've seen it, if I haven't seen it, or whatnot. Um, all right. Well, let's, let's get to our uh, final topic of the evening or of the day. Spin the wheel. We have sports. Football. Okay. The wheel has decided we are talking about football. Yes. We cannot have a segment without football. Yes. So I will be talking about a little bit of the NFL and the NCAA football. Now let's get to the NFL first because that NFL season is underway, uh, going on to week six. Um, Thursday night matchup is the Cardinals and 
the Broncos. Now, Broncos are my sister's team. And they are actually, oh, I don't know, okay, it's Keenum is an idiot. Why did he not stay at Minnesota? Whatever. Um, but, no, the NFL is, has been really weird lately. All these new rule changes, and all these flags that are going on, like Clay Matthews is uh, roughing the passer. What is roughing the passer, people? Come on, Goodell. We need to learn what these rules are. God damn it, we just figured out what the hell a catch rule is. Just for that, you are horrible. I'm kidding. But yeah, you get booed on stage. Um, but we do really have a couple of worst teams in the league right now. Um, we definitely have the Raiders. The Raiders aren't looking so well this year. John Gruden, that turkey hole, man, the turkey hole. Yeah, sorry, John Gruden, uh, but your time as the head coach is done. Get back into the booth where you belong, boy, because you're ruining the Raiders organization. They were good the last two years when you weren't on the team coaching, okay? But, some needs to be turned around because why in the hell did Derek Carr cry getting off the field against the Seahawks? Tell me about that. Um, well, I mean, I, as, that's just, oh, crap, that was weird. That's just, that's just me. Um. Also, we do have the Arizona Cardinals. Eric Arizona Cardinals aren't looking good either. They're one in five, same as the Raiders. Raiders, Raiders. Cardinals are the same. Um, it's just I don't know. I thought the Cardinals were going to be good this year, but they really aren't. Um, we have uh, the Colts are also. Then the very dead last place too as well. Um, they're also one in five too. Giants. Giants suck. That's all I'm gonna say. Eli needs to go. Okay. Get a new quarterback. Eli retire. Your season and your years are over. Your brother Peyton knew that it was over. You need to know it's over. Over. All right, um, uh, 49ers, yeah, they lost too. They're one and five because of Garoppolo ain't playing anymore. ACL tear, goodbye. Lost to the Green Bay Packers last week. No, thank you. Lose by three, finish the job. Okay, I'm done ranting about the worst teams in the league. I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions. Now, I'm a Lions fan, through and through. Come here on. Again. I'm in Michigan. You're probably wondering, why are you a Lions fan? They suck every year. Dude, we all know this. Lions suck every year. No one gives a shit. We Lions fans are desperate for a playoff win. Hell, even a Super Bowl victory, man. If we win the Super Bowl, it's going to be apocalyptic, burn the couches kind of shit in Detroit. But that will never happen. Why? Let me tell you this. Matthew Stafford sucks. Plain and simple. Stafford sucks. Why? Okay. Most of his passes are either overthrown, side-armed, which I guess is different, and... They're inaccurate. They're accurate. Unaccurate, I guess. I guess you can say overthrown and unaccurate are the same thing. His timing is horrible. He doesn't have time in the pocket. Well, yeah, I get the picture. The line sucks, too. But, no. Sorry! This team wants to show up when they want to show up. They beat the Patriots. And they beat the Packers. Two good teams. Two good teams. And blew them out. Blew them out. At home. 
They got blown out by the Jets. First game this season. Blown out. By Sam Darnold. Rookie quarterback. Shine the light in them. Yes, shine the light. Expose from what the Lions really are. Rods. But don't get me wrong. I love Matt Patricia. Matt Patricia. I love him. I love this guy. I love him. Everyone's already hating. Everyone's hating. I understand. Calm down the hate. Trust in the process. But Matt Patricia knows what he's doing. He may be a defensive coach last year on the Patriots. Give him time, people. Give him time, and he will give us wonders. Wonders, people. Wonders. Okay? Cool. As long as wonders are good, wonders are good. Now, cool. All right. Done with the NFL. Let's go to the NC. Double A. All right. So we did have a pretty big shakeup in the rankings over the weekend. Number number two. Give me a give me a second. Give me a second. I know I'm losing my I'm using I'm losing my phone. For uh, where is it? Do 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 do, do, do sports. Hold on, folks. I'm getting the rankings out. It's okay. Rankings. Okay. So, rankings. We had some falling here. L LSU pulled the upset last week against number two, Georgia. Georgia won. Lost. Yeah, LSU lost. Yep, LSU won. So that goes beep. All right. And then we had Washington. Beep. West Virginia. Beep. Penn State. Beep. All right. That's all I know what happened. All right. So we do have a new top 10 list. And it's pretty good. Obviously, Alabama is on there. Number one. Like always. Because they're overrated. 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 Number two is a Big Ten team, Ohio State, who lost Nick the Joey Bosa for the rest of the season due to a withdrawment and focusing on his NFL talent and undergoing surgery, too. That's also a plus, too. You don't want to be injured when you're going to the combine. Clemson is rising up in the polls again. They're number three. Number four is the Fighting Irish, 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 Irish. They're moving up in the rankings, too. Um, LSU definitely got a huge jump after they pulled the upset against Go Jumbo Dogs. And number six, another Big Ten team, Michigan Wolverines. Yes, they got a big game coming up. Against their in-state foes, Michigan State. But, we ain't talking about that at all. Number seven, we got Texas. The Longhorns. So long, how the Longhorns go? They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. Yes, they're back. Okay? Um, and then we got Georgia slipping from two to eight. They are now number eight. Um, obviously, they lost, so hopefully they can get a redemption. Uh, Oklahoma is now ninth. And we got UCF, Central Florida, the champs of last year, apparently. Um, yeah, number 10. Okay. Alrighty, so that kind of does that. I'm just kind of just going over the rankings because I'm not talking about much about college stuff. But we do have a, I do have a very special segment here coming up, and it is the Battle of Michigan. Like I mentioned earlier, Michigan number six is taking on number twenty-four, Michigan State. So stick around for that wheel. Let's spin it. And a very special wheel. And a very special wheel. Is it still going strong? 
The Battle of Michigan. All right. So, hey guys. Um, we are back. Um, yes. And we're also live on Instagram too. So we're on Instagram Live, people. Yes, we are on Instagram Live. So we are excited for this. Um, so the win, the wheel. If y'all haven't seen on Instagram Live, um, you probably will see yourself on Instagram Live. By the way, um, this is cool, actually. Damn. All right. So, as I mentioned earlier in my last segment, uh, we were talking about Michigan, Michigan State this coming weekend. Um, this is probably one of the biggest games so far in the country. Um, you know, it's a noon start game, and it's number six versus number twenty-four. What more can you expect? Uh, State's coming off of a huge win against uh, Penn State. Um, actually, by touchdown, really. Um, so that was a fantastic finish to the game. Michigan coming up with a blowout victory against Wisconsin. That wasn't even a contest whatsoever. Um, as some of you guys on Instagram Live, or Instagram, um, I've posted a, uh, a poll on there yesterday. Uh, obviously Monday, the 15th. Um, to see who will win this matchup. And I am actually very surprised in how the poll went. I guess you can say the poll actually went, uh, I guess, not what I was expecting. I was expecting to be 50-50 in this whole thing for the whole entire poll that I did yet uh, yesterday. Um, what? Sorry, folks, but state fans, I'm sorry. But uh, Michigan, uh, first of all, I got to say shout out to uh, Dane Davis. Um, how's it going, buddy? How's the merry life? Um, and Mich Michigan just Michigan just crushed sixty one percent of the votes to against thirty nine percent. This this is uh that was bizarre. Um, so yeah, I mean you have let's 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 see um who is I mean the pretty much the key players in uh this matchup here. Obviously, the quarterback Brandon Lewerke is uh, taking on first or versing first time Shea Patterson. Um, Brandon Lewerke has been struggling a little bit, um, actually the last few games. So um, uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll show up. I know Michigan State always has a calendar marked in their locker room about this game coming up because um, they always like to play shit the next the next couple weeks, and then they play Michigan and they're unstoppable like they did uh last year in the uh, rain game uh Shea Patch on the other hand he he's uh he's he's uh he's getting better he's getting good uh I mean I don't know really much about his game film but the last time I've been seeing uh he's been uh doing good he's been in, in rhythm he understands hardball system with the offense and um we will have to uh, see how that matchup's going to be. But Shea Patterson has some wheels on him, got some legs. Um, even though he had this huge breakout last or, or Saturday night against Wisconsin, I thought he was slow as shit. Um, but that's probably because I was watching on TV. Maybe on real in, in real life or in live, he's probably fast, but TV makes him was really slow. Um, who uh, Felton? Felton is a pretty good receiver for uh, Michigan State, so he's going to be a, a deep threat. But that Michigan defense, though, I'm going to say the whole Michigan defense because they have been really unstoppable. They're unstoppable big time. Um, that front, that front, the front four uh, is actually good. The linebackers are unreal. They like the definitely pressure, pressure, pressure. Um, and just, yeah, I mean, corners are locked down. Uh, Chase Vinovich is one of the MVPs right now in the in the defensive right now. Um, Michigan State's offense, though, or defense, I, I will have to say, is quite interesting. Um, they are a good run-stopping team, but when they... When they have to defend the pass, that's when they get exposed. So I think Mark D'Antonio will figure out a way to get their defense in sync to win this game. 
Uh, I think they won. They won last year. Um, so I think they want to keep that Paul. Is it the Paul Bunyan Trophy? If anyone knows anything about that, I think the Paul Bunyan Trophy. I think. Um, maybe my Instagram people will will, will ask if uh, Instagrammers. People that are on my Facebook or Instagram live. What is the uh, is it the Paul Bunyan Trophy that they're uh, playing for uh, Saturday? Um, hopefully it is because I'm just going with I'm I'm going with it. Um, going back to back years, they could go back to back years. Um, unless Michigan decides on defending um, the the run. I don't even, I don't even know who the running back is now. LJ Scott hurt for how long is he out for? No idea, but damn, damn, um, yeah, so you know what, this is towards the end of the segment that I'm going to do, and, um, you know what, I'm going to do a Lee Corso, I'm doing a Lee Corso, yes, I'm Lee Corsoing this bitch, all right, so, if you want to watch this game day, I'm gonna give you a little brief. If you're watching, if you watch game day, um, we at the end of the, at the end of the at the end of the show, Lee Corso after they all do their picks, Lee Corso does their does their uh, does his picks. So I'm gonna do mine, but it's called the Brew Picks. All right, the Brew Pick, not the Corso Pick, the Brew Pick. Because hey, anything can happen, right? Anything can happen. Um. I don't know if my uh, team is here yet. Um, they were supposed to be here shortly, but they're not here. Oh, wait. They do have some stuff here. What did they bring me? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. What is going on here? Oh, oh my God. They got me a Michigan State shirt. Give me a state shirt. Give me a state shirt. Yeah, state, state. Anyone like state? Yeah, yep. Screw that. Screw state. We're going with the Spurs. No, screw the Wolverines. All right, my pick sucks, guys. Sorry. Health divided. Can't decide what. If y'all said that segment, I did not do a Lee Corso. Because if I did a Lee Corso, if I did a Lee Corso, I gotta stick with my pick. Gotta stick with it. But, guys, I'm both. This, I'm, I'm, I'm both, all right? I'm health divided. House decided of anyone wants to give me their picks on who I should root for, please let me know. I'm sure none of you guys here, um, besides Instagram Live here, people who follow me on Instagram Live, well, may, may know how this game goes and stuff like that. But people around the country here, I'm uh youtube yes instagram i am going to be tiger cats what the hell okay i don't know what the hell oh what's going on here on my instagram live but all i see is tiger cats why tiger cats i don't understand why tiger cats tiger cats Woo! yes guys you're all being filmed um okay so i'm also on instagram live um, this, um, if you guys kind of miss my Instagram live feed, um, this, this will also be on the show too as well. Um, yeah, this will be basically on the show. Um, if I can fit it in the show, um, if not, then Instagram live, see you, you'll be in there for an hour, um, or a day. I don't know how long it is, but, um, yeah. So if anyone has any questions on Instagram Live, please uh, let me know. Um, and if you guys also uh, want to watch the Brew Report, uh, I'm talking Instagram Live here, guys. Um, please make sure to watch it on YouTube um, under Brew Crew Productions. Um, if you guys kind of missed the first one, please watch the first one. That would be greatly appreciated because... It is the best show, um, best show around. Better than Ms. TV. I'll say that. Better than Ms. TV. Um, I am not answering that question. Sorry. I ain't answering that question. Sorry. Um, alrighty then.
Alrighty, well that concludes the show for the night, for the day, excuse me. Hope you guys enjoy um, the episode 2. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the, uh, the Instagram Live segment because if this is big and everyone likes it, um, it could be part of the show, I guess. Um, so if you guys want to comment um, on any kind of movies you guys like or any movies that you guys are interested in, and maybe I'll give you a review or kind of maybe I'll give you a review of the movie, um, TV show, any TV shows you like that you want me to watch, um, or I can also like do the same thing, like make like movies, um, review it. Um, I can give you a review on, on the show. Um, and also comment about um, your favorite football team, your favorite college football team, and where your team is expected to go. Um, not just be like, oh, they're going to the championship because we're good. We're Alabama, we're good. We're good, man, we're good. No, something ro logical, please, logical. Um, and then if you guys want to elaborate about Michigan, uh, Michigan State game too, the Battle of Michigan, I gave you a nice little special uh, thing for that segment for that because I'm Michigan and I'm from Michigan and this is one of the biggest uh, weeks for state of Michigan uh, not only for Ohio State too as well um, so yeah so make sure you comment subscribe um, comment down below comment see like down below please below 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 here comment and we got that little subscribe button right over here Right over, right over here. Yeah, right, 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 where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, you're right here. Okay, your subscribe button. You're right here. Subscribe button. The the button right here. The the bell. Click here for the bell. You can get any updates from the latest and greatest, either from the Brew Report or the V Law or the um the Four Guys in Comic Books, um all that fun stuff, and or um just stuff that I put on Facebook. Or on, on, on YouTube. Um, hope you guys had a wonderful... Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show. My name is Alex Brewer. And peace.